The term waterman's been thrown around a lot in the last um, few years. You know, I think it's like almost like a um, something that's been coined for marketing purposes. <laughs> but uh, a waterman to me is just someone who um, enjoys all different sort of aspects of being in the ocean. You know, whether it's whether it's just going for a swim or diving or fishing or spear fishing or surfing or body surfing, bodyboarding. It's, I mean, we're all basically just using the, the ocean to play or for food or for whatever. But for me, it's given me everything, you know, it's given me a job. It's given me, I mean, almost all my friends I've met through surfing. All my family stays together through going to the beach and enjoying the ocean. And for me, it's what it's all about. Typically, I spend a lot of time at home. I'm, I'm a family guy. I spend a lot of time with my kids and with my wife and live in an ordinary lifestyle. For me, I think it makes me a better surfer because I spend a lot of time at home hanging out with my family and having a lot of good quality time with my kids, being there, I'm just like an everyday dad. I get my time to go when the waves are huge and go charge some huge waves, whether it be Mavericks or Cortez Bank or Jaws or whatever it might be. I get to go get my jollies and get my thrills and do my thing and go scare myself shitless and then I can come back and, and be and be the dad I want to be and be there for my kids. So for me it's a good balance and then and then likewise I'm a better dad because I get to surf all the time and I'm a better surfer because I have a great balanced family life. You know, like with my own kids, you know, spending time in the ocean and stuff with them is something that just kind of comes naturally. It's what I love to do when it's not a school day or whatever, where I just take my kids to the beach and let them play in the sand, let them play in the ocean, take them surfing, uh, help them learn how to swim, all that stuff. It just comes naturally in Hawaii. It's, we're really lucky the water's warm and clean and they don't have to wear wetsuits and worry about you know anything really. It's just a, kind of a safe place for them to be. And, and I feel like they'll you know meet friends and kind of grow up surfing and swimming and hopefully doing all the things I did growing up. Yeah, when I was a kid growing up, uh, I grew up on the Big Island, and uh, the waves around my house were real little. They were, you know, any swell overhead high is like kind of a big swell around where I live. And so I was more really into like performance surfing, and the best performance surfing when I was a kid was, in, in, in my mind, was Tom Curran. I just wanted to surf exactly like him, so I just was obsessed with trying my hardest to surf exactly like Curran. And, and then when I was about 15 years, 15 years old, I packed up my stuff, I moved to the North Shore, and did came over and did high school over here and I sort of immediately met Brock Little and as soon as I met Brock he sort of became my hero he uh, he kind of took me under his wing and helped me help help me kind of learn how to surf big waves and he really pushed me a lot and he was sort of you know like my role model as far as surfing goes so I, I really looked up to Brock a lot and I think without Brock influencing me I would never have become the surfer I am today